Hey everybody and welcome to Wake Up Azula! It's, it's Friday. Friday! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god. Shut up, no. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday everyone, uh, TGIF. As you can see from our perky attitudes, neither of us went out last night to yeah. celebrate St. Patrick's Day. But it is the day after St. Patrick's Day and everybody is supposed to wear purple apparently. Why? Yeah, I, I, I tried to look it up but I got too distracted. I, I wanted to show you my spirit animal. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways. So we'll find out later and maybe tell you guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we probably won't. And yeah, just forget we probably about won't. it. I want to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. And maybe I'll tell you if I remember. But what you guys can do is you can totally look us up at wakeupmissoula.wix.com oh, yeah. slash wake I want to do weather and then show you this, but I'd rather just show you this now since we're talking about connectivity. Um, so wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wake up So nice to meet you. Spelled out twice. A nice picture of Noel because she usually... Why am has I? all the thumbnails. And I Unless we have like, interviews, and then our interview has it And on it's there. like the weirdest face ever, all the yeah. time, every thumbnail. Yep. Yeah. And this is our Facebook page where you can totally like us. You could follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook. And to find out more information about us, just find us at MCAT.org. Yep. And you can see yeah. all sorts of great and wonderful content. You can make your own show. You can watch um, some local programming. And, of course, if you are a kid age 9 to 13, or you uh, know of a kid, or you have kids or <laughs> grandkids that are between the ages of 9 and 13, roughly 14 or even um, as low as 8, because we had a 6-year-old one time. But then but after a while... He hasn't been coming back lately, which yeah. has been good. Yeah, well, that's like good. He well, he's just that. a little too young. He's, like, he's an emotional. He's pretty young. emotional. And he really wanted to hang out with his brother, and his brother was like, "No, dude, leave me alone." Yeah, nope. Yeah, it, six is a little too young. Yeah, so that happens um, every Saturday from one to five into Memorial Day, um, and it's ten dollars per drop in. And if you want to do a half day to like try it out, um, it's five dollars. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. it's a lot of fun. We have a great old time. But of course, um, let's talk a little bit about weather. It's supposed oh. to be great today. Like yesterday, it started snowing. It was like, rah, rah. today it's supposed to be nice. But of course, it's still be kind of nippy in the air because it's going to be a clear skies, but it's still going to be sunny with a high of 42 degrees outside. But of course, it is currently 24 degrees outside. It's cold outside. And according to ASAP, he, uh, uh, what did you feel like? A, a chocolate popsicle. A chocolate popsicle. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. But there's nothing wrong with chocolate popsicles. No. And ladies, he's single. <laughs> yes. Thank right? you. <laughs> right? Yeah? They may not think I'm great when they know I've been buried twice. Oh, I mean, ASAP. You're just experienced. Yes, you, there you, you go. go. Yeah. He's seasoned. He, he loves. He loves. He loves. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you guys, but we have Mark Moss on our show today. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have Flagship Friday. Mm -hmm. We got some events for your weekend. And We've we have got... some new art clips from oh. our very own Rick Builds, Good, which will actually end on the 25th, and this is from the Clay Studio. Sweet. Great. And then ASAF is going to be his musical notes. It's about a very influential woman, yep. so we'll hear about that more. Nice. But I've got the snow report for you guys. You can... Uh, here is how much snow we got recently. Whitefish just got zero inches of new snow. Oh. Uh, Blacktail has six inches of new snow. That's kind of nice. That's good. You head over there. Snowball's got zero inches of new snow. Lost Trail's got one inch. And Discovery has zero inches of new snow. So it looks like the only yep. place that's got a bunch of snow is Blacktail. You can get out there. But still, the skiing season seems like it's extended with all the snow we've been getting. So that's good, good news for everyone else. But of course, we do have some new programming. And to kick it off, I just got to say that I am, it is great to know that um, the now and officially the Montana Book Festival is over in terms of programs on MCAT because we had like 24, 25 different programs from the Montana Book Festival mm -hmm. which used to be um, the, pr um, the artist formerly known as Humanities Festival <laughs> of the Book. But now it is... Um, but now we're replacing that with the Wilderness Issues Lecture Series. And that will go one on of our for longest, a never ending series. One of our longest um, um, series oh. on MCAT uh, ever since Ron came here this is this is his very first show he started doing was the Wilderness Issues Lecture Series because it's all about wilderness all about protecting the environment all sorts of wonderful How things. How many years has it been? It's been a long time. I've seen um, videos from like 98, oh, 99 wow. so he's been doing this for well like, over 10, 15 years. Almost 20 years. Yeah. Way to go Ron. But of course yeah. um, Wilderness Issues Lecture Series they're celebrating um, of course the uh, Wilderness Act um, last year the big the big deal with the Wilderness Act was 50 years of celebrating the um, Environmental Protection mm -hmm. Act or mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, wilderness um, it, it was the Wilderness Act and that was 50 years. 
now it's now it's like the 51st year or okay something. yeah yeah but this is the first part of an ever forever ongoing series and we'll probably have this every single friday night starting at 9 30 um every for the rest single of the year for, until like uh, midsummer yeah so we're gonna expect to see so it get, get quite ready a bit. guys for some wild programs and of course and also we have city club which is on our civic channel 190 every sunday at 5 p.m and here's a little taste of what you guys can see and when we come back we're gonna bring mark moss out i promise right after this uh, like if you want to protect, uh, I don't know, Kootenai River white sturgeon or piping plover or bay checker spot butterflies in Santa Cruz, all of which I've worked on, uh, it's kind of handy to have the Endangered Species Act, you know, because you're usually working with an attorney in a lot of cases or it's legal argument. So that, that framework is really key that we've, we've made those milestones. I mean, it's part of our social compact it's our it's our agreement of how we're going to do things and then i'll talk a little bit about tools we could disappear into that pretty deep but get across the basic idea of you know how do you do this but i chose montana for a reason and that reason is your hearts are big you're compassionate don't change that is that my time Okay, I know you, the program has to continue, so I will sit and we'll wait for questions because I would love to answer the questions that are burning inside. The insecurity questions, the security questions, the unknown, I want to answer them because I went through that process and I want to help people who don't know, who don't understand. Hey, we're here with uh, Mark Moss, and he's from Tell Us Something, and he's going to tell say stuff. some stuff yeah, about Tell Us Something. Yeah, he's going to tell us some things. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mark. Welcome to our show. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me again. Yeah. yeah. So when is your next Tell Us Something? Tell Us Something is happening at the Wilma, Ooh. March 29th. Ooh, okay. Uh, doors at 6, shows at 7. Wow. Okay, yeah. nice. Cool. And there's also something else uh, you guys are um, you're doing as well, right? Because I was talking to you the other day. Yeah. And you guys are doing some kind of uh, event, another event? No, it's not another event per se. We have a pilot episode on Montana Public Radio. Oh, <gasps> cool! Yeah, so the 27th of March will be our first show. And we have, I think, four tellers from early in the early days of Tell Us Something. Cool. Um, to put together about an hour show. That's that, awesome. Yeah, right. so that'll be fun. And it's, what time it, will that show be on? Beautiful. Seven o'clock. Nice. On what day will it's that, a, like? It's a Sunday. It's, it's a, a Sunday. It's, cool. So the 27th of March. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what's the theme for this one? Um, the one at the Wilma, the 29th, is Why Didn't Anyone Tell Me? Okay. And then <laughs> is the theme for the radio one different? The theme for the radio one has, uh, I think, Three different themes all oh, cool. jammed in it. Oh, so. that's a good idea. Yeah. Just your radio yeah. audience. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, really exciting. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. And this is really interesting for me. This next uh, Wilma event mm. is the first time ever in Tell Us Something history that I don't know any of the storytellers oh, that's at all. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So I'm going to meet them all. I mean, I think I've met some of them peripherally, mm -hmm. but I don't really know them. Um, so I'm, I'll meet them on Saturday. If that's when we'll do the workshop. Cool. And that'll be a challenge for you too, because you know you know everyone. All, you've known everyone already. You've kind of got their like ideas and personalities, yeah. and how you can guide them in which way. So it'll be a challenge for you to like meet all these different personalities that you have to figure out. It'll what be to fun. Do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's my job, right? Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. 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 Do you have cool. any? Um, so this is the first time it's gonna be at the Wilma. Not true. Oh uh, no. We oh. were at the Wilma December of last year. Um, we had cocktail seating in the front. And 620 people came to listen to stories. Wow! Awesome. Yeah, so we're we're hoping to duplicate that this time. And so, do you recommend that people like show up early or get their tickets in advance? We don't have tickets in advance for okay. a variety of reasons. Of course. Um, but well, I want to keep the door admission affordable. And if I were to make tickets, I would have to pass that cost along. Um, so the the tickets am I allowed to say the price? Yeah. Five dollars. Okay. At cool. the door, the door opens at 6. Cool. Um, storytelling starts at 7. Cool. Yeah. So if you want to get there, get there at 6, you guys. Yeah. Cool. cool. That's awesome. That's all I got. And cool. so what else has been going on with Tell Us Something? Um, I got an intern. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, do you, you got a radio slot? Now you got an intern? I got an intern. You're, you're I don't know how long she'll stay. Okay. Um, she's getting college credit through the University of That's Montana. Great. Wow. Awesome. Um, and so she's been producing the podcast. 
She, is she in the journalism department? She, I think, is in media arts. Okay, cool. In the media arts department, yeah. Cool. And so she's producing the podcast. She's doing transcriptions of the podcast, which is really, really cool. Oh God, it takes forever. It's she's a, she's, she's a saint. Kevin. She's yeah. amazing. <laughs> That's yeah. insane. She's great. And um, she's working with one of the producers, the news producers over at KPEX, um, to produce a short little documentary about telescopes. Nice. Cool. Yeah, so that'll be interesting, and, and I think we'll have three or four cameras at the event this time. So. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Cool. And um, I, I, is MCAT doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we'll be one of them. <laughs> we'll one of them. <laughs> Ron will be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> well, like, if, it, it's, it's always disconcerting when I see Ron without a camera nowadays. Yeah. Oh, it's like, right? you see him without a camera, so you kind of like, Ron, what are you doing? Who are you? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm a guy that looks like that. I'm just trying to take lunch. I don't know you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Me, like, I walk around downtown. I live downtown. Town, it's like it's, uh, but him, he always like walked all the way from the other side of town just yeah. to get to work and everything. It's crazy, cause, but I always see him, and he, he's a, he's a wild man. For he's sure. great. Yeah, yeah, I'm very, yeah. Very grateful for the service that MCAT is providing. Yeah, yeah. Well, we love you guys. In the community. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Do you have any uh, summer programs? Because I remember you guys did a kids program. We with did. Something. Um, did last year we had nine events. Oh wow. Which uh, and that included the kids event at the Top Hat. Um, and that was just exhausting, unsustainable, really. Um, so <laughs> yeah. this year, this year we are going to be launching a YouTube channel. Perfect. Um, and people can go to tellsomething.org to sign up or to subscribe to that. Um, it's so far, I need 100 subscribers before I can actually officially launch, okay. right, with the oh. youtube.com slash tell something name. Mm. Right now, it's youtube.com slash, like, a billion numbers on it. Yeah, so. If people wanted to go and sign up uh, or to subscribe to the YouTube channel to help prepare for that launch, and then we'll be pushing out content twice a week nice. on YouTube. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we do have our first event outside of Missoula this year. We're doing uh, Tell Us Something in Helena. Oh, great. In May. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah, That's so awesome. That'll be pretty fun. Yeah, just getting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to take it into like Haver and Great Falls and Billings mm -hmm. and you know. That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, do you do a nice little tell us something tour? Yeah. Tell us something tour. Yeah, really that would be really cool. It'd be yeah. like instead of like you know how like comedians have these comedy tours, you just have a tell us something where people go around and tell stories. Yeah. That would be really. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to to have my fingers in all these other Montana towns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Well, anything else? Okay, when and where? One more yep. time. Um. Tell us something. Why didn't anyone tell me? Is the theme of the next event March 29th, 7 p.m. at the Wilma. Doors open at six. Okay. Great. Right. Yeah. Five bucks, right? Yep. Yeah. And then where can people find more information about you? Tell us something. Dot org is the website. Great. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We're back. Okay, we got some events. This is what is going on um, in your life, in your community. <laughs> this is what's going on in your life community. Life community. 
<laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so over in the Florence building in their lounge, which I think is outside of the Red Bar Red Bird Wine Bar, they're having an intro to essential oils. So they've got they've got three classes. We've got one at 10 a.m. today, and they're gonna discuss the basics of essential oils, how to safely and effectively use them to your benefit. Um, it runs about an hour and a half long. And they have one at 10 a.m. and then another one at 6.30 this evening. So if you can't get to the one at 10 a.m. today, get to the one later. Tiny Tales is at Missoula Public Library at 10.30. This is uh, babies ages birth through three years are invited to attend. And they just like sing songs and hear nursery rhymes and finger plays and all that fun stuff. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, uh, we're also at the Public Library, they have family story time. So this is for like an older crowd. Um, and they have a theme story time on the Dragon Rug, which may include songs and an art activity. Preschool play group it is at Roots Acro Sports Center. This is ages walking to five years. Um, it's only for an hour. $8 a drop in or $12 for siblings. And uh, you get to play on like trampolines and, you know, bone pits and obstacle courses and swing around. Be crazy. Do flips. Yep. Uh, rice tables at the Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11 so you can go over there and you know put your hands through some sensory rice be pretty fun spectrum discovery area their discovery bunch of CSI and the brain lab at brain game brain games uh, yarns is at Missoula Public Library at noon and then also at the Missoula Public Library is watercolor painting for all skill levels with our homeboy Rob P he's now expanded to Friday so from 12 to 2, you can hang out with him, and he'll teach you how to watercolor. And his wise words from the Witness Protection Program. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, this is, this is actually the problem. Okay, <laughs> so um, he's talking about Witness Protection Program, and then like... <laughs> no, I'm just making you, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like really baffled that somebody talks about the Witness Protection Program, and it's just like... <laughs> should you really be talking about this if you're in the witness protection program? I know he probably shouldn't. Yeah. Don't listen to him. Because cause even the <laughs> FBI agents who like arrest like big time crime lords or mm -hmm. terrorists are on the witness protection list as well. Oh, I'm sure they are. They're ones who like you just got caught by Scott Ramp. <laughs> yeah. And it's like I will remember that name forever. Yeah. And your you and your family will be hunted to extinction. It's like oh, I probably shouldn't have told you my name then. <laughs> oh, witness she, protected. Yep, yep. And then so Rob P is in the witness protection program. Yes. I'm just kidding, you guys. No, he, he might as well be. Yeah, he could be though. He Unless never his, last his last name is like. Name a, is. PSD EU unless pseudonym yeah or something. Pseudonym, Rob pseudonym pseudonym Esquire yeah unless his name was like thirty letters yeah. long then I understand why it goes by Rob P no. it just sounds cooler too I just like making names more complicated than they are like this event yeah <laughs> dissolve great okay over at the Missoula Public Library we're still staying there you know they have so many great programs and I'll, I'll, pretty much all of them for free too. Um, is a teen writers group at starting at 3.30. This is for teens who need some inspiration and some feedback. Yeah. Uh, over at Ten Spood Vineyard and Winery, they've got a wine tasting and live music by Lunar Blue. Uh, so they've got glasses of wine or flight, and you can pack a picnic, or they have picnic things there. They don't have any antipasta. Oh. Antipasta. I don't know. Not yet. Saying. Not yet. But yeah, music starts at 6.00. Uh, and then over at the Crystal Theater, there is a clothing swap. It's called Naked Lady Naked Lady Clothing Swap Fringe Fundraiser. Wow. So this is a fundraiser for the Fringe Festival uh, that's coming this summer. This starts at 5. So you, you can bring a bag of clothes and take a bag of clothes. Entrance mm -hmm. fee is 5 bucks. Um, additional bags are $2 each. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can do all this while texting. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Nope. You can do, what Scott? <laughs> you can do all that. Well, I guess so. Um, okay, but also, <laughs> just like you can bring all the clothes that aren't gross. You know, like don't bring like stained or dirty or ho things with holes. Um, and make sure that you wash everything before and put all of your things in a dryer on a high heat. Um, yeah. So you can drop your stuff off during the day um, and look around. Starts sounds crazy. Okay, there's traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6. And then also at the Top Hat, at the Top Hat Lounge, they have their Family Friendly Friday at 6 p.m. Um, and then at Free Cycles at 6.30, they've got a Keep It at Green Celebrating Environmental Justice. Ooh. Yeah. So they've got a dinner, and then they've got a um, discussion about environmental justice. Um, they're going to be talking about community and the environment. 
and all these other things. And they have lots of different speakers. They've got five different speakers that are going to be there as well as dinner. Uh, you can contact Free Cycles to find out more information about it. Um, but it'll be a Q&A discussion with the audience members to follow with tea and dessert. Sounds great. Uh, or with the Silver Theater, which is located on 2023 South Higgins Avenue, they've got a Montana International Children's Film Festival. So it's a three-day event that brings a bunch of music from made, um, it's like big budget and small independent children's film, films and animation from all over the world. It's a pretty not as good as our animation. No. Our animation is way better. It's the lick. Authentic. Yep. And local. Okay. Over at the public library, they've got cheap date night starting at 7 p.m. in the large meeting room. Um, they're watching a movie. Yeah. And then there's a play at the university at 7.30. It's called All in the Timing. And then the complete works of William Shakespeare, abridged, will be at the MCT Center for Performing Arts at 7.30. Um, and then over at the Christian Life Center, they're having an Easter Passion Play. That starts, also starts at 7.30. And then at the Denison Theater at the University, they have their UM Buddy DeFranco Jazz Festival. So $10 for student, $15 for seniors, or $25 for general. Roxy Theater has got Gingers on Ice, a comedy experience. This feature features two local comedians. And it's a strate strategic blend of sketch comedy, improv, stand-up, and original videos. Ooh. Yeah, so it's uh, $8 or $6 for students. And then we've got music for tonight. So uh, Lyle Levitt and Robert Earl Keane are coming to the Wilma Theater tonight at 8 p.m. It's a sold out show, but maybe you go there and you know try to get some tickets. But th uh, they're wonderful country music stars, yep. and I'm disappointed. I, I can go. Uh, tell their country from their names. Yeah. A lot of times the country music stars they they try to country up their names like hardcore. That's true. Yeah. I think that these are real names though. Oh. Lyle Levitt and Robert Earl Keane. Lyle well, Lovett kind of sounds like that guy who uh, from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> well, Lyle Lovett has been in about? movies, too. Yeah, I remember the guy with the hair. Oh, which? The singer, That's Martin Short. Oh, oh, it's like, okay. Lyle no, Lovett's like a, like... He's the guy with the hair, Lyle Lovett, right? Got that little thick hair, curly hair. He does have curly hair, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Because I've seen some, you know, like, um, actors branch out and stuff like that. <laughs> We're going to look him up, you guys. I'm not a singer, <laughs> so I don't know. I just remember him with a lot of hair. Uh, Lyle Lovett. He's also in movies. Oh, but he's yeah. He's a great country star. Here, you guys you guys know who Lyle Lovett is, right? Ugh. Oh, cool. No wonder. Yeah. yeah. I totally recognize him. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm more of a face guy than a name guy. Okay, and then here's Robert Earl Keane. And they will be uh, at. And Robert Earl Keane is one of my favorite country stars because he's just an excellent storyteller. Hmm. He's just a great storyteller. He's got a lot of really, really great songs. So they'll be both be at the Wilma Theater tonight. Uh, tickets were pretty, pretty expensive, but it'll be worth it. They're yeah. really great, and I'm very sad that I can't go. But maybe I'll sneak in. Yeah. It'll open a window. Open a window. Okay, <laughs> over at the Dark Horse Bar, they're having Blistered Earth. This is an ultimate tribute to Metallica. So they've got a Metallica tribute band at 9. Codependence with Levi Miller and Christian Twite will be at Monks at 9. Wow. Um, so it's some um, really bad Montana hip-hop. Awesome. Great. <laughs> Uh, Russ Nassett and the Revelators will be at the Union Club at 9.30. Dakota Poorman's band will be at the Sunrise Saloon and Casino at 9.30. And then Gorilla Radio, which is a tribute to Rage Against the Machine, uh, will be at the Top Atlanta 10. Yeah, but for now, here's ASAP. Well, before we start this segment, I want to give my uh, condolences to the Sinatra family. We mentioned on the World News the other night that we lost Frank Sinatra Jr. Oh. And they were showing a clip of him singing. He sounded just like his father. Oh my goodness, he looked like his father. So I just wanted to mention that for Sinatra family. I wish them well. Okay, let's get started with this. I'm going to read a familiar quote from our guest. This is from the New Testament in Matthew chapter 25, which he always said. She's, and starting at uh, chapter 25, verse 34. The king will say to those on the right side, Come to my father, inherit the kingdom. For I was hungry, and he gave me meat. I was thirsty, he gave me drink. I was a stranger, you took me in. I was naked, you clothed me. I was sick, you visited me. I was in prison, you came unto me. I'm gonna stop right there. And of course, those words 
We're always said by our guest today, Agnes Ganji, known to the world as Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa was born in 1910 in Skopje, Macedonia, from a middle-class family from Albanian parents. She is the youngest child of a devout Catholic family, and um, she has received numerous awards in her lifetime. She's looking very lovely there as a young woman. I want to quote these words from a reporter named Karen Stone, which best describes Mother Teresa. This report is from the a &E biography. Mother Teresa's name is synonymous with selflessness and charity. She began each day at 4.30 in the morning with a prayer, and then she went to work helping the poorest and the sickest among us, the lepers, the beggars, the abandoned children. To the rest of society, they were unwanted, unloved, but to Mother Teresa, they were Jesus in disguise. Isn't that a nice thing to oh. quote? Isn't that a nice thing? Let's show that clip of her and I'll say some final words about her. When did it all start for you? When did you start to put these words into action? Since 1940, 46, actually doing this close contact with the poorest of the poor. But before that, it was a vocation time I was 12 years old, 12. that calling to be, to belong to Jesus. Now at that time you were in Skopje in yes. Yugoslavia where you were born. With my own people. Was it difficult to leave your people? It was, that was the sacrifice that Christ asked of us, no, that, uh, because we were a very happy and very united family. But um, God asked for the sacrifice from my people and from me. And, uh, were you a religious family? Had you been brought up to believe, um, as you do now, that everything was for God? About, um, yes, I think my how she got started in, in the work that she, she does. And now I want to just briefly talk about her accomplishments, and I'll conclude this. As I stated, she was born in 1910, known to the world as Mother Teresa. She's also known to the world as Blessed Teresa of Calcutta. She founded an organization called the Missionaries of Charity, which consists of 4,500 sister nuns active in 133 countries around the world. They run hospices and homes for people with HIV, leprosy, tuberculosis. She's run soup kitchens, dispensaries, mobile clinics, children and family counseling programs, orphanages, and schools. And finally, um, some of the awards that Mother Teresa has received she received one of the United Kingdom's highest awards, the Order of Merit from the Queen. She received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Ronald Reagan. And in her words, um, she's quoted as saying, I am grateful, very happy to receive the award in the name of the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the, and the lepers, and the unwanted people throwaway of society. So that's a very kind thing. I mean, this woman spent her entire life helping the poor and the poorest of the poor. And God bless this lady. She's going to be saint, uh, be made a saint here pretty soon. And I admit, I don't know anything about that, but I guess that's something that the church does. Oh. Mm -hmm. And finally, she got the Nobel Peace Prize, the award of all awards in 1979. Cool. And we lost her in 1997 at the age wow. of 97. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry, 87. So yeah, she, um, she 87. has, this is just, she's incredible. She's done things that most people never will do or don't do. She spent her whole life helping people. Cool. cool. Thanks, Asaph. Thanks, sure. Asaph. Yeah, those musical notes with Asaph out of night. Uh, we've got some events going on for Saturday. At 8.30 over the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got basic jewelry making techniques. Um, it's pretty much just a class that will help you with the basics and find out how to get yourself started if you want to. Um, also at the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got a CPR and first aid class. So starting at 8.30 a.m., it's just going to cover the basics of CPR and first aid, and then you'll get certified. Um, over at the Missoula Hub Conference Room, they have a body and soul writing about health and climate change starting at 9 a.m. So it is a creative writing workshop led by, um, it looks like a couple people that know about health and climate change. So, let's see. It says here, it says that you can 
register on this website and I'm just gonna show it to you guys because I'm not gonna say it so if you would like to you can register on this website to find yeah. out exactly going to this uh, writing about health and climate change Cool. so just take your screenshot of that and you're good to go yep pretty much all right so they're at the Missoula Hilton Garden Inn uh, on Saturday and Sunday. They've got a gem, mineral, fossil, and beach show and sale. So admission is two bucks per person. Uh, kids, in, um, kids under 14 with parents are free. Um, and it is Saturday and Sunday, as I said. Yeah, and so you can go in the, down there and get some gems and beads. The Missoula Winter Public Market is at 10 a.m. over at the Hive. And then also at 10 a.m., meeting at Kearns Aquatic Center, they've uh, got their Snowshoe and Soak. This is $42. Uh, it's from 10 a.m. to 3, and they're going to go up to Lost Trail Hot Springs. They're going to do some snowshoeing and soaking, and then come back to Missoula. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they you just meet at uh, Kearns Aquatic Center, and then they all go up in a bus, or they follow each other. Uh, Lifelong Learning Center is going to be teaching beaded bracelets on a loom starting at 10 a.m. So you can learn the major techniques of weaving and how to make yourself own your own weave jewelry. YMCA has got True Colors Training Series and they're rethinking racism. So starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow, it's a series of workshops created in an effort uh, to teach people about racism and thinking differently. Over at the Good Food Store, they've got an inspired weekend brunch tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. It's 25 bucks. They're going to be making roasted vegetable and egg tart, roasted tomato salad, um, almond cream spice, um, and then they're going to have some buns and strawberry rhubarb bread pudding. Yeah. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got a discussion and a class it's called Discovering, Class Discovering Classical Music, the Symphony. It's at 10.30 a.m. to 12.30, and it's taught by Dr. Ver, Dr. Jennifer Cooper, who is a Missoula-based fluidist. Flu, fluid? Yeah. Flautist. Flu, flautist? Yeah. It's, it says, is it spelled with a U, usually? It says flutist. Yeah. Who received her doctoral, okay, flautist, who received her doctoral degree from Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music. So through uh, listening and documents and historical things, they're going to learn all about the symphony. Pronu pronu pronouncing um, these like symphony orchestra words is like differentiate artist with artiste. Oh, okay, really? Yeah. So it kind of just like depends on. The yeah, that that would be on like artiste spectrum of the flute. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Artiste. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, great. They know what they are. They know what they are. <laughs> they know who they are. They know who they are. Um, over at the Missoula Insectarium, they're going to be learning all about awesome arthropod antennae. Starts at 11 a.m. Um, and then at 11.30 over at Root Sacra Sports Center, there's trampoline jam. So $8 to drop in, $12 for sibling. It's a drop-in class that's structured on front and back flip progressions. Over at the Confidence Stitch, uh, at noon, which is a new sewing shop and fabric shop that just opened on Main Street recently, they have a draft and sew your own skirt class. So two-part class on March 19th and March 26th. Um, and so they're gonna draft skirt blocks using our, their own measurements and then select the looks they like and then pick out materials. And then there will be hand-on instructions and help with every step of the process. So bring a sewing machine and basic sewing, machi sewing machine supplies. Uh, $64 for patterns and supplies and 15% off of all supplies when register for a class. Um, at the Florence Building in their lounge, they've got essential oils for athletes. So starting at 1 p.m., if you're an athlete, you can find out how essential oils can really benefit you. Roxy Theater has got a film showing. It's called A Wisdom Sur Survive, and it's about climate change. It's been a lot of climate change stuff. Uh, at Martha Jane's Uptown Dance, there's a community swing dance at 6.30 tomorrow night. Um, you can call 640-3262 to find out more information, but no RSVP is, is necessary. And make sure you bring suede sold shoes or else just socks that you're comfortable dancing in because they don't want to scuff up their floor. Over at Union Hall, there's Missoula Folklore Society Contra Dance. Uh, it starts at 7.30, $6 for members, $9 for non-members. Absolutely with Chris Moon is at the Badlander at 9.00. Uh, the two tens at the palace is at the at 9 p.m. And what it is is uh, garage rock. Sweet, yeah. Mudslide Charlie will be at the Union Club at 9:30. Dakota Poor Man will be at the Sunrise Saloon at 9:30. And Wartime Blues will be at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. 
As always, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana webpage, the Independent, and the Missoulian for more events. But we've got a flagship Friday of the Week video. What, yes. what do we expect from this We can spot? expect a uh, um, high-stakes kung fu movie. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I love high-stakes. Yes. So um, without further ado, here's your flagship Friday video of the week. Did you raise your kung fu hands at me? You're gonna regret this. What do you want us to do about it, boss? What did I pay you for? Now get up and get him. I didn't know you could do fireball. Cool fun kung fu movie. <laughs> fun kung movie. Yep. That was nice. Cool. Nice. I like that very first scene of her walking. I thought that was the best. We, yeah. we brought the dolly in. Nice. Yeah. So that dolly's funny. The dolly is funny for sure. Yeah. So I had to cut out all the audio completely in there because you could hear the dolly. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I just had to like have that music kind of like grow and grow as she's walking down the hallway. It's, it it's good. It's good. Yeah, definitely like any Way kung fu go, movie. Kid. It's all like build up to the action. Ah. Uh -huh. It's all like yeah. Yeah. 
I oh, <laughs> also, you guys, another event that's going on tomorrow that I just remembered. Nice. Um, it, other than our stop motion camp, which is tomorrow from one to five, drop your kid in, ten bucks, or if you want to do a half day, it's only five. Yep. But tomorrow's a black and white ball. Yes. Yeah. And so and that's uh, forty dollars for uh, forty dollars for single, sixty bucks for couple. It yep. goes back to the Western Montana Community Center, and which of course, really does a lot of hmm? great services for our community. Hmm? Yeah. And um, they have some great rates, uh, and it's going to be happening at the Holiday Inn. Um, um, they're going to have great rates just for the people who go to the um, Black and White Ball. So you can turn that B&W into a B and b Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Scott and I got free tickets, so thank you very much to uh, Western Montana Community Center and Nick and Jackson for coming on our show. Mm -hmm. We're both really excited. Yep. And thank you. Thanks to Mark for joining yes. us on our show. And uh, if you want to learn more information and if you want to watch um, past interviews and more, you can log on to our website, wakeupmozilla.wix.com slash wakeupmozilla. You click on the video link and you can see past videos, past interviews, and of course, past flagship videos, as well as some art clips. Um, you can <laughs> like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook. And to find out more information about MCAT, just go to MCAT.org. All right, so um, without further ado, um, um, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And also for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Noelle McAvoy. We'll see you guys Monday. Here's ASAP Out of Night.